Hey, how's it going guys? Chris here, and it's time for another Battlefield 5 weapon guide. This one's going to be all about the Sten for the Medic class, which is the first submachine gun you get to use in the game, being unlocked right from the very start. Though despite being a beginner weapon, it's still definitely something you shouldn't underestimate, being a good contender for getting the job done in close quarter combat. Desperate times called for desperate measures. The Brits got caught out at Dunkirk, where they left behind tons of weapons, vehicles, artillery and valuable equipment after retreating from the Germans, bringing along a double whammy of disadvantages. Not only had the Germans gained access to Allied resources, but the British military now had lost a large portion of equipment needed to fend off German attacks on UK soil. Now when a Nazi invasion was imminent, and the British Army now having lower supplies, being put in a less defensive state, there was a high demand for submachine guns. They bought as many Tommy guns as they could from the Americans, but of course, the Americans needed to keep a lot of those guns for themselves. Something needed to be done, and it needed to be done fast. So in a last ditch effort to arm British soldiers, two weapon designers worked together to create a simple killing machine that didn't cost an arm and a leg to mass produce. The output was a pretty crude, ugly looking thing that sort of looked like someone had just mashed a load of steel parts together and hoped for the best. But the stem was indeed a fully functioning SMG that was capable of killing, and at the time, that was the main thing that mattered. It wasn't exactly a piece of art, but the fact that the gun was initially manufactured during the Battle of Britain, used only 47 parts in total, and could be constructed in a matter of five man-hours, made it something to be desired. A perfect solution to stock up on arms during a time where the country was really struggling to afford its own defence. In an ironic twist, the stem was actually chambered to fire the 9mm Parabellum cartridge, the German round commonly known for being used by the Luger pistol and with the Nazis often using the same ammo for their guns, captured ammunition could be used by the Sten. They featured a 32 round magazine, though many soldiers only loaded the weapon with 30 shots, to put less pressure on the magazine spring, and well, to try and prevent it from jamming. The Sten was prone to jam quite a lot, sometimes in the moments where you really wouldn't want them to. As later models were developed, the Sten's basic design was improved, and it generally gained a reputation for being a small, lightweight, clumsy but effective weapon that came along to help save the day when times were tough. Put into the hands of the British and Commonwealth troops throughout World War II, with numbers exceeding 4 million overall. So anyway, moving over to those all-important stats. The Sten's got a pretty standard set of figures when it comes to its damage output. The gun's going to deal a maximum of 25 in close quarters, allowing it to kill in 4 bullets. Though beyond 10 meters, this damage will gradually begin to decline over distance, taking more shots to kill the further away your opponent is. It'll take 5 shots to kill up to 30 meters and 6 up to 50, though at 100 meters, that damage is going to stop going down, finally reaching the gun's minimum damage of 13.2. So not exactly a huge amount of stopping power at long range, equating to an 8 bullet kill in total. This isn't massively different to most of the other SMGs, with them generally known for being a bit crap against players further away, as far as damage is concerned. Though being able to kill in 4 shots in CQC is fine enough to allow the Sten to perform well within its optimal range up close. The headshot's going to boost the damage high enough to take someone down in one less shot, and so these are going to cut down kill times even further, dealing between 50 to 26.4 damage whenever you manage to land one bank on target, so aiming for the noggin is definitely advised whenever you can. With the Sten shooting at a fairly slow pace of just 540 RPM, this actually makes it one of the slowest killing automatic weapons in the game, especially against opponents beyond close range, where it's going to require more shots to put people down. This rate of fire can't be boosted any higher by applying specialisations like some of the other slower shooting SMGs, and so it's going to be on par with the MP40 in this field, which could potentially make it a less aggressive option compared to a lot of the other choices on offer in the Medic class. Lethality might not exactly be one of the Sten's strongest factors, but it sure makes up for it in other areas, one of those areas being its ability to put bullets where you want them to be. With a horizontal recoil value of 0.19, this gives it some reasonably nice accuracy, which is definitely going to help you land more shots beyond close range, thus helping to decrease kill times and generally make up for that lack of power and speed. The Sten's vertical recoil kicks the muzzle upwards at a value of 0.48 degrees, which is generally the same as the MP34, giving it a similar kind of stability when you first pull the trigger. However, the MP34 is prone to drift upwards a bit more than the Sten as you fire it off, especially in longer durations, 
and this is down to the Sten not gaining as much vertical recoil per shot, allowing it to be a bit more controllable in fully automatic fire. The MP40, which has some slightly better horizontal and vertical recoil stats, is also prone to gaining more bonus recoil than the Sten with prolonged fire, so in a way, although it's a tad more precise on the face of it, the MP40 might still be slightly less effective for firing off longer streams of lead, with the Sten generally performing more consistently in full auto. By applying specialisations, you can reduce the Sten's horizontal recoil down to 0.127, and its vertical down to 0.384 boosting the accuracy and stability even more, practically making the finger laser beam when used against someone over close to medium range. Though one thing that's going to make the Sten even easier to use beyond those close quarters is the fact that its muzzle velocity is actually on the higher side, with its bullets travelling at a decent speed of 495 meters per second, which, believe it or not, is only a teeny bit lower than the Recon Class's Lee Enfield No. 4, you know, the bolt action rifle. All of these factors combined nicely help to make the Sten a bit more usable over those medium distances, and because you can often land more shots on targets, this can often result in faster kill times than some of the other quicker shooting SMGs, due to them being more prone to miss. With a magazine capacity of 32 rounds, the Sten's got plenty of shots to do damage with. It's one of the higher amounts of ammo an SMG can hold in Battlefield 5, and because the gun discharges those bullets at a fairly slow pace, this should make it quite easy to moderate and control just how many are being used in your gunfights. Because the Sten uses detachable box magazines, this makes the reloading process quite simple, and it's only going to take 2.2 seconds to swap over a partially empty one, which is a sort of average amount of time compared to the other SMGs, being a bit faster than some and a tad slower than the rest. The same thing goes for its empty reloads too, with them taking a total of 3.1 seconds to perform, which is, once again, sort of in the middle regarding the other SMGs. Interestingly enough, the gun which has the very same ammo capacity of 32 rounds, the MP40, actually has a slightly longer empty reload, but a slightly quicker tactical one. So I guess between these two guns, the Sten's going to suffer a little bit more if you tend to switch mags over quite a lot while you play. To be fair, it's not a massive difference, and neither of the Sten's tactical or empty reloads are going to be too problematic in most cases, as you're not exactly going to need to wait around all day to run those animations. Though if you do feel like decreasing those reload times even further to boost the Sten's reliability more and cut down that vulnerability, then the quick reload spec's going to drop tactical reloads down to 1.87 seconds, which is just slightly faster than the MP40's base time. It'll also reduce those empty reloads to a nicer time of 2.6 seconds, Though with 32 rounds at your disposal, you'll very rarely need to worry about getting caught out in the middle of a firefight, with the Sten generally being a pretty reliable weapon as a whole. Now, taking a look at those specialisations, most of these are actually tied into the gun's accuracy stats, helping to make it even more precise. The first two choices you'll see are the Quick Reload and Quick Aim specs, both of which are going to help improve reliability. You might want to decrease the reload times further, with the Sten being an SMG designed to be used more so within close quarters, at ranges where you're more likely to be vulnerable when you're reloading. But because the Sten's reload times aren't particularly bad, I'd probably opt for the Quick Aim specialisation instead. It'd help you get on target slightly quicker, ultimately helping to decrease kill times when you aim down sights, having less of a delay to do so. With the Sten being one of the slower killing guns in the medic class, this extra ADS speed will definitely help you out allowing you to take advantage of the weapon's decent accuracy stats quicker. As for the middle section of the tree, running down the left side is basically going to boost the Sten's hip fire accuracy, whereas the right side has the ported barrel and barrel bedding specs, reducing horizontal recoil and giving the gun less spread while standing still. With the Sten being a gun that can perform a little bit better than a few of the other SMGs at slightly longer ranges due to its higher precision, it might be better to select the options on the right side to boost those accuracy stats even more giving the Sten laser beam precision and allowing it to land more shots further away even easier. The hip fire specs would still be beneficial in CQZ, but with the Sten performing slightly better over those early mid ranges, I find that it can often be best to take full advantage of this, which would also nicely tie in well with the quick aim spec too, if you've decided to pick that one first. The last part of the specialisation tree gives us two more accuracy boosting options. On the left side we've got the recoil buffer to reduce vertical recoil, and the right side's got the custom stock, reducing spread while you're on the move. With the Sten being a fairly easy gun to control, having a slow fire rate, a fairly low vertical recoil value, and with it not really gaining much extra upwards drift with prolonged fire, the custom stock option might seem like the better option out of these two. 
The gun's vertical recoil can be easily countered by firing in burst when dealing with ranged targets. Plus, with this den being an SMG, you're likely going to be strafing around quite a lot while you fire it off. So that lower spread while moving will often give you better results in a lot of fights. So anyway, in conclusion. The Sten is a really nice weapon to introduce you to the Medi class, and despite being unlocked from the word go, it can actually perform better than some of the other SMGs in certain situations. The gun might lack a powerful bullet or a speedy rate of fire, generally giving it some rather unimpressive kill times, especially in CQC compared to a few of the other options, but it can definitely make up for this in other areas, such as its ability to stay on target and keep the bullets flowing at a steady pace. With this den having lots of stats to benefit its accuracy, this makes it a pretty comfortable weapon to use, with fairly low recoil values, fairly high muzzle velocity, and a fire rate that can be easy to control that doesn't cause the gun to jump around all over the place like a wild animal. These factors combined allow this den to perform reasonably well beyond those closer proximities, where the gun is ideally better suited for. So despite it losing a lot of power over distance, it can still be quite effective over those medium ranges to a certain extent as you'll be able to land more shots on target easier, potentially decreasing kill times over some of the other SMGs in the process. Along with it having some pretty good accuracy stats, the Sten's also one of the more reliable options to use too, having a larger than average mag size that'll allow you to keep on going through those chaotic CQC firefights. Combined with decent reload speeds that can be sped up even further through specialisations, and well, you're not really going to need to worry too much about being left open in many vulnerable positions. And with it having a higher precision and slower fire rate, these features will also complement the gun's ability to manage ammo better, rather than wasting it, which boosts its reliability even more. Overall, the Sten might not exactly be the biggest pushover in the Medi class, though despite lacking a bit of power, it can often seem like one of the more dependable choices to use instead. With its slow but steady stream of bullets, they can be easily managed and controlled, while being directed towards your unfortunate enemies. So that's just about it for another weapon guide folks, hope you enjoyed it. Loads more on the way, so if you did, make sure you subscribe to check those out when they're released, and hit that like button to show your support. Thanks for watching, and I'll be seeing you in that next episode.